Welcome back to X plus Y. Here's another viral math problem that's dividing the internet. 64 divided by 2 times the quantity 4 plus 4. Clean numbers, messy results. Pause and see what answer you get. Many people look at this and think the answer is 4. Let me walk you through their reasoning. Starting with our expression. First step. Handle what's inside the parentheses. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So now we have 64 divided by 2 times 8. And here's the key moment where people diverge. There's something about the way 2 is written right next to the 8. No multiplication sign. Just 2 parentheses 8. It feels like they belong together. This is implied multiplication, and many people believe it should be done first. So if we do 2 times 8 first, we get 16. That leaves us with 64 divided by 16, which equals 4. That's Team 4's answer. It feels right. It looks right. But is it right? Now let's look at Team 256's argument. And this one's going to surprise you. Here's the fundamental rule. Multiplication and division have equal priority in order of operations. They're at the same level. When you see them together, you process left to right. There's debate about implied multiplication, but the formal convention treats all multiplication the same. Starting from the same place, let me make the multiplication explicit. Now it's clear. We have 64 divided by 2 times 8. Following left to right, the first operation is 64 divided by 2. 64 divided by 2 equals 32. Now we have 32 times 8, which equals 256, a completely different answer. And here's the thing. This exact problem has been tested on different calculators and software, and you get different results depending on how they handle implied multiplication. So we have Team 4 and Team 256, both convinced they're right. Both have logical reasoning. What's the real answer? Here's the reality. This problem is viral because it exploits an ambiguity in how we write math. According to modern mathematical convention, multiplication and division have equal priority, so you work strictly left to right. That gives us 256. But the way it's written creates a strong visual suggestion that the two is attached to the parentheses, making many people think it should be treated as a single term. So while Team 4's answer feels intuitive, the formal mathematical convention says 256. Modern calculators follow this standard. Standardized tests follow this standard. But here's the important lesson. This notation is ambiguous and should be avoided in real mathematics. In any serious context, we'd use parentheses or a fraction bar to make the meaning crystal clear. No mathematician would write it this way precisely because it causes confusion. Were you Team 4 or Team 256? Thanks for watching. This problem has sparked massive debates online. If you got 4, you're following your intuition. If you got 256, you're following the formal rules. Drop a comment with which team you're on and subscribe for more viral math problems. See you next time.